What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another week of the Weekly React series. My name is Adam. Let's jump into it. I didn't think I'd see these two working together, so... Interested to see what happens. I love the pitch drums in the background. Gives the percussion some nice tonality. Just love her voice. She just makes tracks sound so professional. Yeah, these toms coming in just sound dark. Oh! That's gotta be one of the heavier tracks with Ron's vocals on it, no? I like what he did, it's kinda like detuned, like dissonant tones in there, that was interesting. Ooh. Let's go! Oh! Oh, oh, this might be the best bass track I've heard all year. Oh, no way. <laughs> wow, that just lifted my entire mood. Holy shit. This is a song of the week. Okay, can I just say something about that last track? I've never, in the history of me doing this, had to stop and listen to a song again just because of how, like, awestruck I was at it. Just a gent, sad boy. I'm impressed. Wow, this is like got all sorts of elements. Oh! Wow! We've gone from like Beautiful fluctuating saw waves to trap sounds to a little bit of soul feel. 
That's gonna be one of the more creative songs I've heard in a minute. I think these two styles play off each other perfectly, so I'm super hyped for this one. Yeah. Give me that trap 808. Damn, those drums. I would have expected like one more element in like that first initial drop, but I have a feeling it's gonna progress to be more complex. Oh. That pre-drop kills you too. Oh. <laughs> Wow. I was gonna say, I almost expected it to be a little more complex, but then again, with Rez really being on this like hypnosis train, see why sticking to like one specific sound and trying to kind of envelop you in that might fit the vibe more. Nonetheless, super impressive. I love love the little drum fills that I assume were Death Pack. I'd like to see them just do a whole ass EP. That would be dope. All right, we've got some Armin Van Buren and Timmy Trumpet. Should be for some big energy, I'm assuming. A little bit of a Latin American influence. Wow. The drum choice is interesting. You've got like dubstep drums mixed with kind of like a mariachi sound. It's kind of unique. Love the cowbell. One of the more interesting releases from Armin lately. Nice. Very Ophelia sounding. Really pretty. I like that arpeggiated run at the end of the phrase. Yeah, I think the big thing with that is three years ago, that would have been a massive hit. But now, because that sound is just so saturated, it doesn't stick out as much. I personally enjoy it quite a bit, but unless you're a fan of melodic bass already, somebody who's a fan of another genre um, probably isn't going to stumble upon that. Got some G-Rex and Sully. Yo, all right. Some real deep wugs. Love the broken beat percussion in the bridge here. Kayvon, last forever. That's Kayvon. And that kick's got a lot of thumb to it. I'm not crazy about the drop. It didn't sound as wide as some of his other songs. Yeah, not the most creative take on that sound for sure. Right, we're gonna check out some Cascade. Oh. Yeah. How are we feeling about this? I know I usually skip over remixes, but since it's version two, pretty trancy. Let's check out some Coven. Some drum and bass from across the pond.
I love the snare. All right, get a little orchestral here. Oh yeah, second half, much better. Woo! Nice. I wasn't so sure about that at first. Life on hold, AKA the mood for the last year and eight months. The kick feels just the slightest bit clicky. More of these beautiful atmospheres though. How can you not like it? Like the ticking clock. Nice choice. better down tempo atmospheric tracks I've heard in a while. Okay, so I was previewing tracks here and there as I kind of do to just kind of get a vibe. And uh, I'm gonna break the remix rule on this one. Cause I caught a glimpse of it and was like, we gotta do this. This is We Are Fury with the If Found remix. Not bad for a remix. Digging the hi-hat here. Yeah, I just had to grab that one. I love how aggressive it is. Fills up the room, super full sound. All right, through popular request, I try to get to some of y'all's recommendations, but there's quite a few every week and seen this name pop up a few times, so. Ooh. Love how this swells. I think that fits in the same vein of like the Noron Pure track. If you like some of those, you know, slow evolving, really melodic, great to kind of space out, study, do whatever you need to do. Not a bad recommendation. All right, that's going to be it for this week. Let me know what you guys thought. Artist recommendations, song recommendations below. Try to stay, I try to stay up with like new releases and current stuff, but always open to suggestions. How about that Kaiwachi track though? Oh my God. I'm going to have to re-listen to that like five more times. That could be up there for one of the top songs of the year for me, just off first listen alone. Um, I haven't been like that into a song in a minute, so really impressed what him and Run were able to do. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.